Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make a video for the people out there who are really interested in minimalism but haven't yet dared to dip their toe in. They're sort of wondering whether it's the right thing for them and I wanted to really inspire people and give them that push to have a go at experiencing minimalism because I promise you, you will never look back. Now this video was actually inspired by an article or a blog post that I read the other day by one of my favourite um, minimalism influencers, Joshua Becker, and I will link it in the description box below. So this video is an inspirational video and it's five signs that you will fall in love with minimalism. Okay, sign number one, if you are someone who at times really struggles to focus and just simply get stuff done, you're going to love minimalism. It really gets rid of all the distractions and clutter and things that are draining you of your energy sources. It allows you to really concentrate, become really efficient in getting things done, getting your work done and giving it your undivided attention. And when you get things done properly, you feel really proud about yourself and that increases your own energy levels and sense of self-worth. And of course, from that, you also get a great sense of clarity and direction in your life. Sign number two that you're going to love minimalism is you hate mess. When you embark in minimalism, particularly in your home, you have less stuff. So therefore, it is so much easier to keep your home clean and tidy. Now, I pretty much think with two incredibly messy and, some, sorry, dirty people. And when I have given the house a really good clean, I discover that they, or I have discovered that they actually are a lot more respectful of the home and trying to keep it tidy. When the house is a mess and a bombs tip, they are, you know, they think they can get away with like leaving the dirty dishes on the bench top or throwing their laundry to the bottom of the stairs. Um, their mess kind of blends in with the other mess and it doesn't make us very accountable. But when your home is clean and tidy, if someone goes and leaves a mess, it's going to stand out and they're going to look guilty and they're going to feel guilty. So they're more inclined or more inspired to keep the place tidy. Now, when your home is tidy, it also has a, a, an energy level that's really calm and tranquil. And that is really important because your home is your safety net. It's your place of sanity and security. So if you hate mess, hate dirt, but also are quite time poor, minimalism is a fantastic path for you. Sign number three that you're going to love minimalism and it's going to be great for you is that you would feel like you are drowning in debt. You have mounting credit card debt, you have car loans, you have personal loans, you're still paying off the holiday from six months ago. When we are debt, we are complete slaves to our financial situation. And I, of all people, can tell you it does not need to be that way. But the great thing about minimalism and money is you actually spend less. When you do buy things, you buy them with absolute love, consciousness, awareness, and value, and you appreciate them so much more. And because you get so much from that one purchase, you feel less inclined or less, um, less of a need to go out and buy a whole pile of other stuff after making that purchase. That one purchase is so satisfying. Now, because you are spending less, that means you should have more money left over. And then you can use that money to not only pay off all that mounting debt and get back on top of your finances again, but the moment you are debt free, you can start building savings. And from that, you can start, if you wanted to, build investments, an investment portfolio that pays you passive income. So if you want to learn more about passive income, obviously you have to subscribe to this channel because it's all about building passive income streams to create financial freedom. And minimalism and money is an incredibly powerful path to follow and is something that I've incorporated in my own life. And I've done a fantastic video from a couple of years ago about minimalism and money, which I will also link in the description box below. Sign number four that you're going to love minimalism is you are time poor. How often do we complain that we are too busy and we get that anxious feeling that we go running from one thing to the next and we never get time to stop and breathe or we just wish in our head that we could just simply like stop the clock and freeze time just to get stuff done. Also, when we have lots of possessions, they demand a lot of our um, time. Um, I'm constantly running from, you know, dry cleaning to um, getting things fixed and that have cracked and broken, um, you know, refilling things, it's, it's exhausting. But one of the great things about minimalism is we get our time back when we learn to consciously look at how we spend our time and most importantly, sometimes learn to simply say no. And when we say no, we get that time back to, to use as we choose fit. And that could be something as simple as saying no to going to an event and instead 
hanging out with your family, even watching a movie together or playing cards or a, um, a game together where it's going to increase your own energy source. And even I'm a big believer in spending time at home because it's a very nurturing, safe place and it really does build up your own energy sources and strength of character again. So if you're going to lean into minimalism, claim back your time. And the fifth and final sign that you will absolutely love minimalism, and this is probably my, my favorite benefit of minimalism, is you learn to go deeper. You learn to have a much healthier, more intuitive and conscious connection within yourself. You realize you've had enough of commercial, the commercialized world and the whole keeping up with the Joneses and how suffocating that is. You learn a greater sense of awareness and the real authentic richness that around us, what it really is. And it's not just materialistic stuff. It is the deep and profound connections to the people around us, the way that we love and support each other, the gifts that we give each other through our time, our love and our awareness of each other and what each other are going through, being present with each other and learning to deeply listen to one another and understand each other. Minimalism for me has given me a really deep understanding and meaning to life. And to me, it's almost like a form of medicine. Whenever I'm not feeling well, I go back to my roots and my beliefs and my understanding of minimalism and I find it recalibrates me and centers me and grounds me again. So if you're one of those people that's been sitting on the fence, umming and ahhing about whether minimalism is really for you or even a little bit of a scared about what you might discover about yourself from leaning into minimalism, I encourage you wholeheartedly to give it a go. It's not a defined box that you're going to jump into. You can lean into it. You can start with one very small room inside your house that you decide to you know, remove all the excess stuff when you're in that room. Or it might even just be minimizing the contents inside your handbag or the stuff that is inside your car, for example. You choose how long it takes and the journey and the direction that it goes. You are completely in the driving seat at all times. But I really believe if you give it your undivided attention and commitment, you are going to get so much back from this lifestyle movement. Don't forget you can also follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv and of course please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I love posting videos on minimalism. I will see you on Monday for Money Monday where I publish videos around passive income, getting out of debt, building up savings, in, um, investing in property and of course my favorite shares and updates on the $1,000 project. Ciao for now.